The sex of newborn child is a matter of chance and none of the parents may be considered responsible for it. Justify the statement with the help of flow chart showing determination of sex of a newborn. So basically in human beings, the females will have two X chromosomes and male will have one X and one Y chromosome. So therefore female pattern is XX and male pattern is XY. So at the time of mating, large numbers of sperms are ejaculated from the male reproductory organ into female reproductive organ that is into vagina. So they travel towards the fallopian tubes where only one sperm meets with the egg. Though millions of sperms are released into the female reproductive organ but only one sperm meets with the egg. So the process of fusion of the sperm and ovum is called fertilization. So basically sperms are released by the male reproductive organ and eggs or ovum are released by the female reproductory organs. So when these two fuse together they form zygote that is called fertilization. So the sperm has either X or Y chromosome and egg has only X chromosomes. So if sperm carrying, if this sperm carries Y chromosome and it fuses with egg then the newly born child will be male and if this sperm which carries X chromosomes that fuses with egg then the newly born child will be female. So that's how there is an equal chance of fusion of either X or Y chromosome with the egg. So we can say that the sex of newborn child is a matter of chance and none of the parent is responsible for it. You can see here in the flow chart. So the X, Y, these are the two gametes that are produced by the father and X, X, that is the same type of X gametes will be produced by mother. So when X fuses with X of the mother, it produces daughter and when Y fuses, Y of the father fuses with the X of mother, then it forms XY that leads to son. So that's how we can say that the sex of newborn child is a matter of chance and none of the parent is responsible for it.